Hey, Alexis Love Beauties. Let's have an updated conversation about vagina health. And to be real, this is going to be the last video that I'm doing about this. I made a couple videos about this, but I did want to do an update because I'm just not going to keep talking about this. Um, you know, we're mature to get this information because you can't get this information from a doctor, but it's not a topic that I want to keep going on and on about. So if it's something else that you wanted to know about down there, then you'll have to do your extended research on that. We're not getting into, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Just do your extended research. If there's something else that you would like to know about your lady areas, but I did want to do a touch up video. So I'm going to give you some information right here. So how to keep a healthy vagina? What throws off the pH? Medicine can throw off your pH. I know metformin is a very big medicine that throws off a lot of different things in the body. So if you are on metformin, which they use that for different things like weight loss, diabetes, first of all, using certain pills to lose weight, because some doctors put them on that specifically for that. If it gets to the point of somebody trying to give you some medicine to lose weight, just lose weight. Just lose weight because what happens is that medicine begins to throw off the pH. Even if you are on prescription medicine, that medicine begins to do different things to different parts of the body. Medicine does dry out certain parts of the body. The body from head to toe is made out of tissue on the inside. The internal organs are organs, but what's around those organs is the tissue. We know that tissue can get big, that tissue can get small. When you're talking about down there, that is alive. If you look down there, you will see it living you'll see it breathing you know that that is tissue as well that part of our body needs to have moisture i just learned that that part of our body that tissue and the tissue that we have in our mouth is the same tissue those tissue are equivalent to each other so the same way you have saliva in your mouth is the same way that you need to have natural you know natural mucus natural you know wetness down there so sometimes medicine can dry you out be sure to do your extended research whether you're on prescription medicine or you're taking some over the counter if you see a long word don't just overlook that like oh, okay they said this is gonna cure the headache look that up and see what other ways that it could be affecting your body y'all remember no commercial when they used to be like this is going to help you but the side effects is you might get dizzy drowsy you can't dry you can't go to work next week so you have to call in be sure to make sure that you know what i'm saying you have to put the kids to sleep early because your soul might start hurting off for a headache. Listen, medicine knows how to get in the body and trigger a response to go to different parts of the body. When you take Tylenol for a headache, that your body is your healing mechanism. So your body knows that this Tylenol needs to go to the brain. On the way up to the brain, the medicine we take, it could be affecting other stuff. It could get caught in the stomach. It can get caught in one of the tissues, one of the organs on the way to the brain. Listen, Again, do your extended research. Certain medicines can be, you know, affecting your pH down there, whether you drying you out, throwing you off, or just irritating you down there in general. Liquor. Liquor makes it stink down there. It's going to come out one way or another. It's either going to come out when you use the restroom or it's going to come out in your pores. Liquor is strong anyway. Now, again, liquor is fermented fruits. But that alcohol is not a healthy alcohol. It's not a good fermentation. And liquor carries spirits as well. Now, we need to get into the spiritual side of this because people know that and they say it all the time. When you, We need to do our extended research and get into our word of God and understand that this stuff is not just a business promo. When you go to a liquor store and it says the spirits or you get that liquor bottle and it says the, the finest quality spirits by 90%, this is 40% alcohol by volume. When you drink and you get drunk, different things begin to happen. God told us we need to be sober minded. I've never been a drinking person. I'm gonna keep real with y'all. I used to be firing up, you know what I'm saying? But still, even that, smoking as well, that brings us to our next one. Drinking and smoking is not good for a healthy pH down there. Smoking can dry you out as well. You have to think you're already inhaling something that's dry. Smoke is a dry. Um, smoke is a dry gas when you put that in your body I know how we feel like we be feeling like oh you know what I'm drinking I'm smoking I be turning up and I be on 10 and I be ready to do that or whatever 
I'm talking about those of us that wants to be healthy. Those of us that don't need to get drunk and do different things like that. And those of us that really want to do these things with our, and you know, our relationship with our partners and not just doing random stuff, then we don't need to drink or we don't need to smoke. When we start talking about that and we don't even want to, you know, get too much into that, but that all comes from the mental as well. We be using a lot of our bodies. We don't use our mind, but you know, you don't even want to do this gonna go down into another one that we get into but let's just start with the drinking and smoking the drinking and smoking is a no it does throw off your balance down there in general and that does make it stink especially liquor when you use the restroom and you see how dark it is and you see how strong it is that can eventually throw off your ph that's not a, a natural scent that your body is creating no we're not going to smell like roses different things like that i mean you can but it's still going to be natural liquor the smell is not a natural smell and that smoking, eventually smoking does begin to break down the body. I'm going to save a video in our playlist section where um, the human anatomy, he goes over how bad smoking really is. So we can stop thinking that smoking weed don't do nothing. Smoking weed plays a major part. So that's why you put that down here. Thongs. The mesh thongs, you know, we want to be cute all day. You got to be a baddie all day. Ain't nobody about to be wearing a granny panty, honey. Like, yes, like thong got to be up that causes yeast that causes extra moist that's not supposed to be there and bacteria you cannot wear a mesh a cute a glittery thong all day i say special occasion special occasion could be when you're getting out the bath special occasion could be when you're doing something nice for your husband special occasion can just be you going to sleep by yourself and you ain't about to get into nothing at all and you just felt like you wanted to be feeling sexy tonight that's a special occasion other than that just wearing a thong all day long every day whether you're bigger or smaller is not safe those thongs with our skin it begins to make additional moisture now you have a yeast infection now you have a bacteria infection again colored panties us wearing panties that's not our size be sure to get panties that's comfortable right even if you're in a relationship you're gonna have a flawless man a wise man that understand yeah my girl do got some big panties on you know what i'm saying because you know she need to keep it you know um breathing down there again that is alive that needs oxygen and needs to be breathing down there color panties and panties that's too tight does not allow you to breathe and the fact that they're colored they will you know sometimes when you wash clothes and it'll you, you know different colors begin to come off and drain off imagine being hot with some tight panties on with some red tight panties on that's not your size and then all of that bleach and stuff is absorbing into your skin anything that we put on our body it absorbs into our skin this is why we have to know what we're putting onto our skin because when it absorbs it's going to go into the bloodstream first the blood is very important we need to make sure that our blood is good tight panties that's a different color that's not the right size and mesh thongs all day is not is not it it's definitely going to cause different problems if it haven't and you keep on going it could cause problems along the way using the same towel on different body parts i got this wisdom from a man at the age that i am probably like two years ago i'm gonna be real with y'all because we got to be real getting this information out i don't know who else do it you ain't got to put that in the comment section if you did it you did it we off that right now after this video using the same towel for your face for your body for your armpits for your genital areas down there for your feet and then doing it all over again and leaving the towel in the bathroom creates different bacteria different infections this young man taught me to you you a woman you use different parts of you use different towels for different body parts again which makes a lot of wisdom because different parts of the body have different ph's the vagina ph need to be at a 3.5 per uh 3.5 point of 3.8 through a 4.5 that's a natural ph imagine you using the same towel you can begin to throw your ph off because you got sleep in your eye then you taking a whole body bag you putting all of that just back in the same area you do not want to recycle towels get you a different towel the skin ph is different everywhere just like the body have different parts of the immune system that has different balances and different phs like i said you ain't even gotta you ain't even gotta confess today i'm gonna confess on the, on our behalf don't use the same towel on the same body parts it is okay so that's one towel that's two towels that's three towels you need one for the front that's four towels you need one for the back that's five towels one for the feet 
and something I just learned as well. Don't even leave them in the bathroom. The bathroom is unclean. I don't care how clean it is. When you flush the toilet, something I'm doing now is put the toilet seat down every time you flush it. When you flush the toilet, it does shoot back up all of the bacteria, all of the, you know, the chemicals, the the urine all of the bowel movements that's going to come back up into the air so i would have like my towels over the shower different stuff like that letting it sit for days that is not healthy at all now i like to put my towels in the closet maybe hang them on a hanger and then use them like that so be sure to take the towels out of the bathroom have a different towel for each part of your body that way you don't throw anything off that way you're not breaking out your face because you use the towel that you use on your foot on your face Heavy intercourse. Heavy intercourse throws off the pH. Girls be like, well, you know, that's my dude in. You know what I'm saying? We loyal, so we don't even be having to use no condoms and nothing like that. Like, sis, men are not, especially with the man, your man, I can understand this not wanting to use condoms and different things like that. Condoms even have their own smell as well. But again, be sure to, when you are intimate, and I'm only pushing marriages now, I don't even play the, the little side piece stuff, the little boo bae stuff like that. But again, a woman that's going to see this video, I can't change who she is. I'm just giving the wish and I'm going to pray that we can begin to set aside ourselves and love ourselves enough until God does send us the man. We'll talk about that later on. But sex does throw off the pH. That man could be cheating now you you know what i'm saying you thrown off and that's thrown off because that woman ph was thrown off. and another thing men don't even be knowing the difference between natural and you somebody having yeast excuse me so excuse me if a man mess with another girl and he thinking like man you know what i'm saying she she fire or whatever not knowing that that girl is nasty she got a yeast infection now transferring spirits is transferring he transferring her yeast to you dudes can have their own yeast infections as well so we want to make sure that having sex that we're doing that with somebody that god has appointed for us we ain't got to worry about none of that other stuff but you know i said again i rebuke this in the name of jesus but if somebody is still sexually active make sure you are using condoms and you know just kind of chill out on that and we'll talk about that later on about how to prevent these things from happening but sex throws off the ph multiple partners throws off the ph oral sex dirty fingernails all those different things because people probably not keeping up how you keeping up if that's not your man then he's not keeping up he don't even care so he's probably not brushing and flossing his teeth making sure his mouth is good he probably eating a full course middle and i bam i'm about to pull up in ph thrown off he ain't even washing his fingernails he ain't getting his nails done because he just don't care so he like bam i'm about to pull up and then yeast infection make sure that like i said i can't judge nobody or anything like that but make sure that first of all you're with your own husband right and if you're just you know you grown you doing whatever you know you can't even you can't even put that's that's the whole thing when it's not our man we cannot force them to do different things and be like oh you need to brush your teeth but for your man it's gonna know to do those things already so you messing with a random dude it's always a risk it's always a risk of your ph being thrown off diseases and all different things so again i'm pushing we waiting but you know like i said somebody watch this video when they like girl i got a little a little side piece just make sure he ain't got no girl make sure that you safe you know what i'm saying and make sure just understand that he can be throwing your ph off it could be due to his hygiene not being that clean food throw off the ph we're eating animals that have phs we're eating animals that have hormones anytime somebody else's hormones into your body it throws off your hormones again just like with the six that man hormones is getting into your body and throwing off your hormones and let me touch back up on that too i'm gonna say like i said we ain't really trying to get into that just just like on the surface so i have to catch my drift intercourse with but it's my man even married we done been you know what i'm saying and i let him do that in there that stank right that stank i can understand you know that being on a spiritual connection different things like that but know how to clean yourself back out know how to detox yourself because that stinks and it rots and it needs to come out and it creates soul ties and this man whatever he was carrying it's on the inside of you and men don't be caring about that because not our stuff don't get on the inside of them so you know don't don't you know let people do that in you and different stuff like that and know how to clean yourself out again be wise if you somebody you grown you want to do what you want to do you see this video definitely make sure you keep a condom but food can throw you off because of the hormones that the animals have just as well as another human's hormones can throw your hormones off 
lack of exercise we need to exercise we have so many different organs in the lower abdominal that needs to be strengthened that needs to be taken care of to make sure everything is sitting right to make sure when we are ready to produce we can produce now the lack of exercise could potentially throw off the ph could um because you're eating a lot of sugars so you're not exercising you're not detoxing so it's just messing up stuff down there we're going to get into an article even if we don't get into the article about the lack of exercise and go more into depth of how exercise gonna throw off my ph I will still leave the link down below. Even if we can't talk about that, I will leave it so you can do your city research and go and read this from health M um, healthmd.com. You can get this information from medical doctors as well on how the lack of exercise can throw off your pH. Having nutrient deficiencies can throw off your pH in general. You're not getting enough vitamin A, you're not getting enough zinc, vitamin D, vitamin B12, all of the Bs. Really, the all of the B vitamins, number one through 12, is essential, especially for a woman. When we are on our cycle, we lose a lot of blood, and what we're losing is a lot of that B vitamins. So we need our B vitamins. So the lack of um, nutrition deficiencies can play a part in our pH being thrown off. Probiotics, prebiotics, we ain't taking nothing down there, so it's not healthy down there. Lack of nutrients in general can throw off our pH. Not washing the thighs. Thank you, Jesus. The stomach. Let's be real. As a heavier girl, you may have to pick your stomach up. Pick your stomach up. I'm not laughing because it's not funny. And I ain't trying to throw no shade in this video. I done been heavier than what I am right now. Pick your stomach up. You want to know why? Because your stomach is creasing over your vagina. So you just feeling like I'm big anyway. So I'm just going to wash around my stomach and then I'm just going to hit the top. But what about the crease right there that's happening in between the stomach and the top of the vagina? Lift your stomach up if you have to. You can utilize the tub. Put your leg up. And again, the thighs is what stink. Sometimes it's not even coming necessarily out of the vagina. Sometimes is coming from the thighs so whether it big thighs small thighs whatever size thighs make sure that you are washing your thighs i noticed that like i said i'm being real y'all don't have to y'all don't have to comment on the different things you went through i'm gonna say it for myself I noticed that actually when I was younger, I've been on that for a long time when I was younger about the thighs. I'm like, bro, it's not coming from there, but where is it coming from? Them thighs. Make sure that you wash your thighs. It's a whole video on YouTube about, is, you know, should you wash your legs or not? Yeah, you should wash every part of your body. So that is why I'm even getting at that. Like your thighs could stink. And, it, and it's being right there. You could possibly think it's coming from there. It don't have to be coming from there. It could be coming from your inner thighs. Make sure you wash your thighs. Make sure you wash underneath your stomach. As a heavier girl, especially as a smaller girl, still wash the flat pack. You know what I'm saying? We on that, but wash the flat pack as well. Body hair can smell as well. It can also keep up a lot of moisture and eventually it can stink. Y'all know you probably ran into a dude if you have, and I'm gonna tell you because I have. So where he had a lot of body hair and it stank down there, was musty down there, is just how he can get musty because he had all of that hair, you can get musty as well. I can understand our aesthetics are different. Some people like to be completely shaved. Some people like to have a little hair on the top. Maybe just whatever it is, we ain't getting into that. We're not here for that. Whatever it is, just make sure that you keep it to where it doesn't get musty. You know yourself, but understand that hair, hair is meant to actually protect you from getting any outside free radicals, from any type of environmental pollutions or anything getting into your body. Hair is going to protect you and it's going to keep that, you know, to where um, when you're wearing those colored panties, the hair is going to not it's gonna hair is like a protective barrier let me just say that hair protects you from different things coming into your body just like your body naturally does things like callus so when you're just keep on working every day you working 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 then your hands start getting calluses you're like oh my god your body heals itself your body works for itself so your hands is saying bro you've been doing too much like now i'm gonna create callus that way it can protect your hands but 
eventually the callus can become painful so now we want to get our hands back you know smooth and make sure they're good same thing for the body hair is meant to protect you but it can also stink so if you like to keep your hair just make sure you're doing other things to keep your hair clean if you don't like to keep your hair make sure that you're removing your hair and you're just doing different things to make sure that your skin because now you're talking about all skin that your skin is still safe it's still protected so not having any hair you might probably don't want to wear any underwear when you can if you do want to wear like a thong you probably want to do a cotton thong or you want to wear white panties pretty much all the time if you can especially not having no hair that way you have that protection because you don't have hair down there just know that hair can stink leftover tissue i know we was all taught white from the i forgot how we was taught to wipe from the front to the back now again in this video i'm spitting some real stuff so y'all don't have to comment i'm gonna say it on my own behalf i was taught to do that from the front to the back from the front to the back but then i started questioning everybody i'm like bro why am i keep getting yeast infections on a regular on a regular like on a regular so when my doctor was getting irritated like sis you were just in here last month why you back i'm like i got a yeast infection she's like oh you don't got nothing like it ain't i'm telling you that it's on the way because of how i'm feeling down there then by the time she ran the test i'm sitting there like yeah now where the where the dice flu can bro like i'm tired of this myself the way i stopped that was the way that i wiped i looked the video up on youtube other ways how to wipe you can wipe from the front again that's your personal preference honey when you see this video for me it helped to cut the yeast infections this is why i'm so heavy on the baby wipes baby wipes help me out a lot now tissue still comes in handy but it's the way you use it you don't necessarily have to wipe right when you do that you have to understand that the tissue is dry and you're putting that on something wet what happens when you put tissue in water it's going to dissolve it's going to break up i don't know if y'all noticed but when you do that when you're wiping that tissue get left behind that's why i started feeling like it was giving me yeast infection because it was left behind tissue it can be in an underwear just rolled up and you like bro how long this been sitting there you don't even know how long it's been sitting there you just know you want to be dry down there right and I'm going to go ahead and get this tip now because I don't think I have written this down. But for a woman that wants to try another way, if you are experiencing heavy yeast infections and bacteria vaginosis like I was, maybe you have to wipe a different way. So now I don't even wipe. From the front, you can just pack. Like I said, you pull up the video up on YouTube and I might still drop that video as well if I can come across it in our playlist section for feminine hygiene health. But you don't have to necessarily wipe from the front. You could just you could just pat it and it's going to be completely dry. I feel like the leftover tissue that was getting left there, stuck there, hanging all around in the panties caused bacteria. And that's why I said leftover tissue can potentially be thrown off your pH perfume i know back in the day when i was a perfume girl when i was younger he sprayed on my thighs sprayed on my don't don't be trying to go see a dude we spraying it everywhere making sure we good perfume is not good it perfume is a toxic if it's not natural it's not made with a natural essential essential oils not made with a natural essential oils and different natural fragrances then it's toxic perfume definitely can throw off the ph you're spraying it down there. It's going to throw off the pH. If you are a perfume girl, spray that down like somewhere. I don't even recommend putting it on the skin at all. Perfume is for the clothes. If you want to spray some perfume like down in that area, spray that when you put the clothes on. Down there, like literally, excuse me. It's a no, excuse me. It's just a no. Scented hygiene baths, like the bath bombs and different things like that. Again, if it's not natural, it could possibly throw you off. And bath and body products that scent it, all of those things. I know everybody is not sensitive. I know some people can, you know, their body can keep up with different things like that. But understand that these things eventually let her on down the line. And they're starting to say this because they already knew this in general. Certain producers that make like deodorant and different body products, they know that the different things that they're using is negatively negatively charged when it comes in contact with our body. So you can put see the periodic table comes in a lot with the human body because a lot of the different things that we're using we're pulling stuff from the periodic table and it's safe enough to go on skin but it's still toxic and you use that in a small percent that way you can use it on skin but over time imagine using a metal come on jesus a heavy metal and a perfume 
and the deodorant, aluminum, right? Aluminum, you're only using that by 1%, but you've been using it for 50 years. Now you're 50 years old. Now you're wondering where dementia is coming from, where Alzheimer's is coming from. It's coming from the toxic products that we use. So be sure to know what it is that you're putting on your body. I don't care how good it smells. I know we're in this era of smelling good, looking good, baddie this, baddie that. We young. That ain't no excuse. Eventually, over time, things are going to decline. The reason why things decline on the inside is because when we put it on the outside, when you spray some perfume, it goes on the inside. I see girls with the Vaseline tricks, like put Vaseline on, then put the spray on so we can stay longer. Like, what are we hiding? Our body is supposed to naturally smell how it needs to smell. We've been eating steak and shrimp and lobster, so it's going to stink. We need to get that out. Again, that's why we need to exercise. Pull Pull out those things. We need to detox our body. Perfume, body washes, all those things that scent it. If it's not natural ingredients, later on down the line, when, when health begins to have problems, we'll have to question those things. You can do your extended research on that because now people is dropping information about how those things are playing a role in Alzheimer's, diseases, cancers, all that stuff. Breast cancer, they're talking about deodorant because it makes sense. Your breast is right there off your armpit, so you keep putting that on. I don't use deodorant. That's just on period. And I have it like almost two years. And I'm good and I'm comfortable with that. I don't got no problems. You keep covering something up, it's not going to heal the problem. This is why I say do your extended research. You can buy something. Know what it is that you're buying. Know what. You don't want to just keep covering stuff up. That's just how humans do. Like sin. We just keep covering up sin like God ain't looking. We just keep, you know, cheating, killing, stealing, and destroying. Like eventually something bad ain't going to happen. You don't want to cover stuff up. You want to get to the root of the problem. Why is this happening? Why do I have acne? Like what is going on? Like why this, why that? You want to begin to question things. You just don't want to go with the flow. Do your extended research on scented things and how later it affects your body some people it's affecting right now already makeup people that wear a lot of makeup you see my girl you only 20 like why you got bags on your eyes why your skin different colors and stuff like that everything's not natural stress it's something else that can throw your pH off. It's not just about, see, everything starts in our mind first. Our mind moves the body around. Stress is known for throwing off a lot of things. Stress can throw off your pH as well. If you have ever, you know, been in a relationship, it was toxic and you got stressed out, what happened? You got turned off. You see what I'm saying? So you stressed out by this man. Now he want to be hey, like, you still mad about that? Like, come lay with me. You don't want to lay with him because you're turned off. Understand it happens in your mind and the body follows. So stress can throw off your pH. This man just threw you off to where your hormones ain't even thinking like that. Stress. Lack of sleep again throws off the ph now we're not just talking about the vaginal ph we're talk talking about the ph in general we need our beauty sleep eight hours or more or rest that way we get our energy our body is restored we just need our sleep in general lack of sleep and stress can throw off multiple body phs in general and it could throw off your vaginal pH due to you not eat, you're not getting sleep. You know, your body not on a regular schedule, so it don't know what to do. You don't have a regular bathroom schedule set up in different times like that. Be sure to get some beauty rest. I believe that the lack of sleep can throw off the pH as well. That's why I put it here. Refusal to heal mentally. Listen, this is not just about no body parts. Your mental plays a part in all of this. If you refuse to heal, if you refuse to ask questions and do the spiritual work that needs to be done to be happy, to attract the man that you need to have on your body, on the outside, physically, we stay in a relationship with y'all, and then on the inside of your body, when y'all are in the covenant of God, doing what God has approved to be done, then that's a problem as well we need to heal our mental state of mind having a strong delusion in our head not ha having all of these mental problems throws off the ph as well again your ph is thrown off by your mental because you was arguing all day he done said something so your mental telling you no nope, turn off turn that off you ain't even about to be working down there so it's going to turn off our mind play a part in the body so make sure that you heal your mind for the part you doing the things that we're doing we're not just doing this for the random dude we're doing this for ourselves 
we're doing this for God and then we're doing this for our husbands but again our mind your mind is going to tell you I'm not turned on by that you have to be willing to heal your mental state of mind if not that throws off the pH I know people are attracted to toxic things like that eventually different things will go downhill again soul ties having soul ties throw off the ph you slept with that man you know the devil out here killing stealing and destroying he using people causing strong delusions and relationships all the time he's sending all type of counterfeit men and whatever spirits is attached to that man is going to be attached to you so soul ties will throw off your ph down there we don't need to have sex it's just it throws off your ph periods can make the vagina less acidic and more prone to bacteria and yeast infections as well so the natural ph of the vagina will be a 3.8 that's just a natural ph with a 4.5 that is acidic so our vaginal is acidic down there i'm talking about natural acidic you see what i was saying earlier like people know different things about the body so this is why they'll say oh well we know citric acid this is why you see citric acid and everything because our body does have different parts of acid and different parts of citrus you know different acids that we need that are natural but doing too much it can throw the ph off so on our period that blood does throw off our ph and it lowers our level of acidity so now we are more prone to bacteria or yeast infections even on the cycle it's nothing we can do about that on the period but again you're making sure that you're doing things on a regular if the period comes around and kind of irritate the ph you're good because on a regular you've been taking care of yourself so now the period is not going to even affect that now how can we heal our vaginal to have a healthy mental physical vaginal you know how they'll say like man they, they don't think with this brain they think with that brain same thing apply for us as well i think we got a brain down there as well we need to pray excuse me we need to pray we need to pray and ask God to release us from the soul ties of the toxic men, of the toxic women. Come on now, we're just going to be real. Of the toxic, intimate interactions that we had with people. People that entered into our body, they left us with all these strong delusions. They done dropped off all these generational ties and different thoughts and all these things. You need to pray and ask God to get your body back perfect the way he created you to be and to help you and to lead you and to guide you to do what it is that he needs you to do and to wait. That brings us into number two, sex retention. It's this whole movement about men having semen retention. So that's why I dropped this in a video. We need to have... I don't think our wives well, be saying retention. Listen, we need to stop as well. <laughs> Whatever it may be. I don't know if ours be like same retention as well, but we need to stop having sex in general. Again, having sex, you get different people's soul ties, different people's energy. You is good. This is how it happens in the spirit. You good, you living your best life. You praying, you turning up, you doing different things like that, right? Now you come in contact with this man. You don't know he depressed. You know he you don't know he um dealing with all these different spirits now y'all mess around with each other now out of nowhere out of nowhere you feel like oh my god why i be so tired now i was never lazy before you picked up that man's spirits that man dropped them spirits off and then he went about his day he don't talk to you more nothing like that reserve yourself for what god has for you different spirits is going to attach to you when you're messing with men and that throws off the ph in order to heal that you don't want to have sex at all that's just a period and it's possible oh my god people be talking about they don't be having like i don't be believing that believe what you want to believe everybody not out here just fooling we need to just take people don't know how to take a break people been going since they was 14 just still going 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 let take a break again that's another reason how you throw the ph off because you do not not a weekend break years of breaks take a break and reserve yourself for somebody that really deserves you 
Washing with water only will help to balance the pH. Again, we wouldn't be so scared to just wash with water if we naturally are eating the foods and doing the different things that we need to do, then we won't be afraid of water because we won't stink. The reason why we stink is because of the food we eat, the different people fluids that our body is trying to push out, the different hormones that our body is trying to push out, but we be covering up so now we stink down there. When you begin to say, you know what, I love myself. I can wash this with just water. I can, um, you know, shave my hair, not use no deodorant, different things like that. And whatever, I might still get hot and different things like that, but I'm comfortable and I'm confident because I know my body needs to detox. That's a whole nother level of wisdom right there. But be sure it's, it's okay to wash with water. Water is the number, before we even had soaps and all this other stuff, Back in the day, I believe that's all people was using and drinking was water. Water is very, very powerful. You shouldn't be uncomfortable just using with water, especially on the inside. Now, when you talk about washing with water, I say on the outside, Dove is a really, really good and gentle soap. Not the scented kind. The original Dove is moisturizing, right? So you can hit the thighs, you can hit the stomach and all of those areas with the Dove on the outside. On the inside, you can use just water. Also, you can use your feminine washes as well. You know, maybe like the, um, you know, like the soft scent feminine washes that they have. Again, take this information out of this video however you want to. I know everybody ain't sensitive and different things like that, but just still do your extended research. Scented feminine hygiene washes is not good because in reality, nobody's going to smell like roses, different things like that. You just have to know how to take care of yourself in general. Then you won't be afraid of just washing with water. Washing with water will make sure that that balances pH. You don't have to worry about nothing being thrown off because water is the most purest cleanser. When you're taking a bath, take a bath with just water. Take a bath with cucumber, roses, like real roses. You can go get a bunch of roses from Kroger, Walmart, clean them off, put them in a bathtub, cut up some cucumber, get you some oatmeal, some Epsom salt, and that can be it. Get a little oatmeal. You can use oatmeal, cucumber, roses, and Epsom salt for a perfect, luxurious bath. You can also use apple cider vinegar as well. Those things are going to soften your skin. They're not going to irritate you down there. They're not going to throw your pH off down there. They're going to bring hydration into your skin, hydration down there, moisturization down there. Again, if you can put something on the outside of your body and you can put it on the inside of your body that's how you know it's something good for your body you can eat cucumbers you can eat roses you can eat oatmeal and you can eat certain types of salt so that is a perfect bath you want to drink alkaline water alkaline water some of them have a ph of seven some of them have a higher ph of 9.5 the alkaline water again that area down there, certain canals of the vaginal is acidic. So to keep that 4.5 good acidic level, then the alkaline water is going to balance out the organs in general. Alkaline is the most purest form of water. Alkaline becomes so powerful because it gets its minerals from rocks. When water passes over rocks and streams, the water absorbs the minerals from the rocks, which rocks are natural, different things that God made. So not because we were made from the ground as well so mind you the things that God made from the ground we have to know how to incorporate those in our body to get all of the beautiful benefits that God has given us to use like using the herbs for meat on ourselves so drinking that alkaline water is going to give you your nutrients you don't have to worry about being nutrient deficient beautiful skin good hydration the alkaline water is going to make sure the blood flow is good everything is going to be moisturized like it need to be moisturized alkaline water is going to always make sure that ph is good so for the girlies that was like me that had yeast infections get you some drink you some alkaline water that alkaline water is going to make sure that don't happen no more because it's going to make sure that you have a balanced ph in general because you're always drinking alkaline water so you don't have to worry about that getting thrown off down there rose water is very very good roses are full of nutrition roses are full of vitamin a vitamin e again good minerals and vitamins that's good for the skin i just learned about rose water rose water is very potent so you want to make sure that because if you overdo the rose water, you can start getting a headache, start getting lightheaded. These natural things are potent, but they're good for your body. So you have to do your extended research and take them in 
the amounts that you need to so you don't get thrown off because i when i found that you can eat and drink roses i was like but i started getting a headache so you want to use things with wisdom as well don't feel like just because you use something it's just gonna you need to use a lot more of it to get rid of the problems this is stuff that you're doing in general just every day of your life you don't have to use if it's say use a teaspoon use a teaspoon don't feel like because you're using 10 teaspoons that now it's going to heal the problem it's not do your extended research, especially on the rose water, but roses are so full of nutrients and vitamins. Roses are also hydrated, so when you put that rose water in your body, again, it's going to help that balance pH, it's going to help that hydration down there, and it's just going to make it feel comfortable, make it, you know, just, just beautiful in general. Fruits and vegetables like watermelon, cucumber, um those things help boost the immune system those things help strengthen your pelvic area and different things like that fruits and vegetables in general again your nutrients when you have a nutrient deficiency because you drink a liquor all the time you smoke it all the time you use an issue using that the blood threw off all of these different things is happening now your body is missing things so what the body does is it begins to try to just strip whatever is there if the body doesn't have anything to use now you're deficient now you have dry skin now you have acne and other things are going on so your fruits and vegetables are going to also help you restore the nutrients that you need down there as well prebiotics probiotics foods like um garlic lemons and limes i know people don't like garlic garlic is number one see the thing about garlic is it's antibacterial it's antifungal which means that those things are going to fight any type of additional yeast garlic lemon and limes are going to balance out your ph i know it's strong it might you know the urine might be strong for a minute but that is okay when your body comes into things like it's trying to detox, it's trying to cleanse out, of course it's going to stay when it's trying to come out because it's been, the organs been rotted for so long. But you're putting natural things in your body like garlic. So yeah, you're going to be like, oh, I use no deodorant, I'm eating that garlic, I stink. You have to give this time for it to not stink. So eating garlic, lemons, and limes, and apple cider vinegar, those things help to balance the pH and are gonna fight any type of yeast or any type of bacteria that's not natural, that tries to overgrowth, cause like eating sugar, having a bad diet, and different things like that can create yeast and bacteria. So in order to not eating garlic, I'm talking about clove or garlic, clove of garlic you can eat it like that you i i recommend not even cook them down if you want to like use garlic for you know a healthy ph i recommend just eat the whole clove of garlic again it might stink different things like that listen let it do what it have to do because it's cleaning out your body do not be afraid to get things out of your body when you continue to cover it up because you're afraid of just using water oh my god it's gonna stink if i don't use this then later on down the line when doctors and different people can't give you answers you have to run that back like like, oh snap i remember i was using perfume all the time and that is why now they saying that my blood is messed up that's crazy we don't want to hear no bad news like that we're stopping things in advance don't think because you young just because you young this goes for anybody be sure to eat you some garlic honey if you have a man they have no bad you know i had some garlic today you know we're gonna have to cut that next week again your man the man that's meant for you when it comes time to your health he's gonna love that about you he's gonna learn that about you he's gonna be asking you like babe you ate that clove of garlic today okay i just wanted to make sure your ph was good a real man a genuine man it's possible they out there do not think it's so far-fetched again if you're in a toxic relationship you need to leave if you've been getting the information and the wisdom to leave that relationship leave that relationship god has something better for you i believe that in my whole heart there is a man that wholeheartedly will say and do things like this baby did you all uh, take your bath today let me run you that cucumber rolls apple cider vinegar bath that you like there is a man that's going to take care of you the man that's just coming in and out we don't need the man to be coming in and out of our house that's some period the pelvic 
is responsible for ho for holding major organs underneath layers of muscles like the pelvic is responsible for the digestive organs and the intestines so we need to make sure again that we're detoxing down there prune juice and arugula is very very good to help you go to the restroom you have to look at the human anatomy be sure to subscribe to that youtube channel the um anatomy of the human that way you can learn different things understand that down there is connected to so your body is like a puzzle there's so many different things that's connected and like i said the pelvis the pancreas the ovaries the vagina all of those different things some way some shape they are connected together so if you're not using a restroom that could possibly be throwing off something else something else we don't want nothing to be throwing off nothing so we want to make sure in general that we're regularly using a restroom we're regularly just detoxing as a whole because your body it works together and different things are connected a sift bath one of my favorite a sift bath is a little toilet seat that you steam hot water in be careful with the girls selling these herbs girls are selling people got whole businesses about sift baths they don't even call them sift baths they call them yoni steams do your extended research again i did one of them broke me out down there i know i had nothing else but that broke me out down there because it was like 30 herbs in there if you don't know what all them herbs is first of all we need to test stuff in small batches before we start putting it on our skin especially when it comes to you trying to steam something up there people was making false promises about different things about it's healing this now i'm not gonna say that with 100 percent accuracy probably like 80 percent accuracy because people are saying that if you take the steam it's going to heal your pcos it's going to heal periods and da 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 da, da. it can because the herbs is used for meat depending on if the person knows that and they have that wisdom that that righteous wisdom because people is doing things out of spite people is doing things out of witchcraft come on jesus rebuke the spirit of witchcraft in the mighty name of jesus christ but understand that people having these baths and they selling these steams know what you're putting down there i did one of them i didn't know all the, or all i know was lavender which i don't think lavender worked good for me anyway and roses and i was like oh that's good you don't need all of that the sift bath is also good for hemorrhoids so it's going to help you if you have internal or external hemorrhoids be sure to check out that video how to heal hemorrhoids but if you want to use the sift bath for vagina purposes you just want to use water the hot steam is going to come up and it's going to make sure that it's pushing out the odor so that steam coming from that sift bath it removes the odor as well love a sift bath if you want to add herbs buy your own herbs you know make sure that you're knowing what you're using make sure you do the extended research because there's things that goes back to egyptian times and different things like that bc ad that they were using and that's where people getting this information from but again people just putting stuff together to sell stuff real quick make sure before you buy something that got a whole bunch of herbs in it for down there that you make sure that okay this is really going to heal this because i did my research on that or you can just do a simple water sift bath the sift bath is going to push that odor out also if you're looking for something to you know tighten up a little bit down there then that sift bath is going to help with that as well the steam is going to help those muscles contract just like you're working out it's going to help those muscles contract you want to keep those muscles down there you want to keep everything down there good and healthy and balanced so now this is where i will go in and do reading let me see how much time we got um i don't want to get too much into the time because i don't want the video to stop so i'm going to leave down below a few links to some articles that the alexis love beauties can go and read and excuse me do your extended research on how to take care of yourself down there in conclusion you want to stay away from mesh stones all day stay away from heavy foods like steak and stuff all the time seafood all the time you know do your extended research on more natural products like natural deodorants make sure that you're eating your greens make sure that you're detoxing your body naturally make sure that you're working out stay away from men having the sex all the time need to stop um you know like i said you marry you you, you got a you know a man that's your man your man 
then you know he needs to be interested in learning you as well y'all know how we be so quick to be like oh babe like i know you like the fade with the high top so you know i'm about to he need to know about us as well men need to know about us as well oh babe i know you like your back massage i like my back massage too i know your muscles need to be my muscles need to be loosened up too so when you're in a relationship with a man he needs to be looking into that too like okay babe you know what i'm saying you need to oh something else too let me say this real quick. I'm learning about this as well. Do your extended research. I'll see if I can find an article or a video to put in this video or in our play the section about castor oil. There's a lot coming out about castor oil. You putting castor oil in your stomach. You putting it on your navel. I do it and it does work. Help you to go to the bathroom. But they're also saying that castor oil has a lot of triglycerides. And I've done a little bit of research on it. We'll come back in another video about the benefits of castor oil. But I've been putting it in my navel and it's helped me go to the restroom. Just as much as you can swallow castor oil, just as much as you can use castor oil to pull toxins out of your mouth, to pull a plaque from your mouth, the same way that you put castor oil on your body, it's going to extract and it's going to detox the organs. They're saying that castor oil is good to detox the area down there. It's healing PCOS and other things that happen in the vaginal as well. Do your extended research. They're called castor packs. You get like a pack and you put castor oil on it that you can wrap around your stomach or you can do like I do, put it in your navel, massage around your stomach, different things like that. It's going to help you go to the bathroom and also, I don't, you know, you'll know when something works for you when you actually do it and you see it heal something. So again, castor oil is natural. So I just wanted to throw that out there. When we get more information on that, we'll be doing a separate video about the benefits of castor oil. It's very, very powerful, but they are saying that it does help. That's something natural that is helping to break up like fibroids and different things in the stomach. And I'm here for it, so I've been trying it out. Now, in conclusion, just make sure that you're taking care of your mental, taking care of your spirit. Do not just give your body to everybody. Do not just be doing things. Know how to fall back. Know how to take a break. Incorporate more water into your diet. Incorporate more healthy foods into your diet. You don't have to be no bodybuilder, but make sure that you're working out and you're engaging. Love yourself, which means to take care of your body. Learn about the different pHs. Learn about the different things that you can do to just remain healthy. Alexis Love Beauties, thank you so much for stopping by this video. We will later on be talking about more things like reading from our book that we have, our nutrition book, reading about like, you you know yeast infection and bacteria infection but as far as this topic like um vagina and how to smell and different things like that we're not doing that no more it's other girlies that got videos on youtube that just focus on that like girl this is how you taste good da, da, da. we ain't doing that we're here for the wisdom side of it so this was our last time doing that again we'll be back later with like bacteria how that works and where it comes from different things like that but as far as how to wash and you know thorns and panties and sex and all that this was the last video i'll leave down below as well some of our other videos some of the other tips we have where i got into those certain things about the baby wipes and different things like that again if you didn't like to comment about how to wipe hey different strokes for different folks but if you're interested again it helped me out you just pat it from the front you know pat it and then you know it helped me and make sure to keep them you gotta keep them baby wipes on deck i hope y'all don't give me about y'all baby wipes i love the baby wipes better than the feminine wipes but alexis loves you god bless you save your body you know get you some beauty rest be stressless and different things like that to keep your body just naturally on a good healthy balance alexis loves you Mwah.